Hello, here we are with the second tutorial about the configuration of Flex Loop in the FSD. In this tutorial we will start creating the demo application, which we will be working on throughout the whole series. We will use our Flex Loop demo board as our example application. It contains one FlexiSoft station. On the sensor side there are in total five different six safety devices. We have the emergency stop push button ES11 with an integrated reset which is connected to an EMSS 8-pin node. There is also the transponder safety switch TR4 connected to an OSSD 8-pin node. Next we have the magnetic safety switch RE13 together with an EMSS 5-pin node. Here we have the safety locking device I10 lock in combination with an EMSS 8-pin node. And at last we use the safety light curtain DTEC 4 core with an OSSD 5-pin node. So on this demo board we are using all types of nodes, which makes it perfect to show you the configuration of FlexiLoop. The HMI and the gateway are used for diagnostic, usability and integration purposes. They actually don't affect the FlexiLoop configuration which I want to show you. Therefore, other tutorials consider their configuration. Let's start by configuring the hardware. In this example we will use a CPU 0 and an XTIO. Both of them need to be at least version 3. After that we can switch to the elements, then to the category Flexi Loop and add Flexi Loop 1 via drag and drop. That's it. We added Flexi Loop to our FlexiSoft station. Now we are going to configure the nodes. Therefore we switch to the Flexi Loop area. Here we start adding the nodes we need for our configuration, of course via drag and drop. I'm going to start with one node of every type. After we successfully added all our nodes, we need to end the cascade with the terminating element. Like in a hardware configurator, it is possible to add another node in between, or to change the order of the nodes. Now that we configured our nodes, it is time to switch to the elements. To do this, simply click on the Elements button. As usual, you can add them easily via drag and drop. Here I am going to add different types of elements, according to the switches and sensors on the demo board. Furthermore, we are going to use the aux in and aux out of the 8-pin nodes to add, for example, our reset. After this step, we have already finished the whole hardware configuration of our Flexi Loop system. If you hover over the blue info button here, you can see the pin assignment for the M12 5-pin cable. If you would change the position of the loop in the hardware configurator, the FSD will automatically update this information according to the new pin assignment. Of course, you can also tag name the different components, which means either the nodes or the elements. Just double click on them or choose properties via the context menu. Now you can enter your custom tag name in the same way as in a hardware configurator. For example, door 1. In the properties window you can also see the pin assignment of the currently selected node. By clicking on the blue button on the left side you can switch between type and tag name. Here you can see how our new tag name is automatically applied. That's it so far with the second tutorial about the Flexi Loop configuration. You learned how to configure the cascade and the hardware of FlexiLoop. In the next video I'm going to show you how to create the logic for our example application.